Hello everyone, this is Stuart over at Multimedia Corp and today I wanted to do a quick video on my audio setup. The reason I'm doing this video is because I couldn't find a good tutorial on how to program my Akai MIDI Mix. So I'm going to show you a brief overview on how I configured it, uh, which is the MIDI Mix controller and the process to get it working with voice meter potato or I guess voice meter banana as well as have it working with OBS Studio. That includes the faders, the knobs, and the buttons. Now uh, that also means that the LED lights on the MIDI mix are also working and synchronized with a voice meter banana. Um, however if you do use a mouse to control voice meter, it doesn't synchronize with the MIDI mix, and I haven't figured a way around that just yet. Uh, it may not be possible because it is a, a non-motorized controller, and a voice meter doesn't support uh, MIDI MIDI feedback in that way. Also, if I do manage to get 100 plus likes on this video, I will do a full tutorial, and I will also upload my button XML config to my website so that you can download it, configure it to your liking. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I have a Windows 7 PC, not Windows 10. I also have a Focusrite Scarlet audio interface, um, Generation 2, where my XLR mics are connected. I also have all my Windows audio routed first through voice meter and then back to the audio interface where I have studio monitors and two headphones connected. But enough of that setup. The important thing I want to show you is that yes, it is possible to get the iKai MIDI mix working perfectly with voice meter and OBS and have the LED lights working. And it took me a while to figure out and program the iKai so that the LEDs were working correctly. So first, um, I'll just show you a demonstration with uh, voice meter here. So I do have all the sliders presently working. Now I'm going to work with, uh, this is actually my loopback interface, which is currently muted. If I were to unmute that, then it would, it would do a sort of a crazy feedback loop, which we don't want. Um, so as you can see, the faders are working as well. Uh, if I go, um, I'm going to go to a different channel. I will try to. I'm gonna, if I go to record arm, you'll see that the buttons are indeed working. Okay, and they are synchronized, and the LEDs are working as well. I just mute it and mute it as well. Yeah unarm that. I do have my voice meter set up so that the record arm button on the MIDI mix is actually uh, used for monitoring. I also have the knobs working as you can see. So I have this one is set up as my reverb which I have turned off at the moment. Um, you would have to turn it on over here in, in the reverb if you wanted to turn that on. Um, I also have the noise gate set up. So as you can see on the mic that I'm actually talking on, I have it set to about two, which just seems good for my area. And then I got one knob for the compressor. Okay, so I don't have the compressor to set too high, but that's that's another story. And you can also see back here that I have my Novation launch pad MIDI, which I'm not going to go into in this video, but I do have that connected not directly to my Launchpad Mini, but I do have it connected to another program, and I can actually control uh, some aspects of Voice Beater Banana with this as well. Uh, for instance, I have like an emer on my other profile. I have a this button is is like my emergency mute button where it mutes everything and whatnot. So I've got those set up with with hotkeys. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick overview of how I have it set up. Along the top, I have uh, all my channels set up, so mics 1, 2, 3, 4, um, this is loopback, uh, virtual input 1, virtual input aux, and then virtual input veo. 
I believe that's how it's pronounced. Now, if you have voice meter banana, you're not going to have all the same inputs as me, um, but you'll have most of them. And then I also have one for master bus as well, which will basically uh, mute buses one and two. I don't want to do that right now because I don't want to cut myself out. Uh, so if I, as you can see, uh, mute mics one and two are muted, and they have sh short keys uh, for Alt F14 and F15, just so I'm not conflicting with any other Windows programs. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click on this, and this is how I did the the button configuration uh, for voice meter. So I had everything set to two positions. I set a keyboard shortcut. Uh, it's up to you if you want to set the button color. Uh, and then you have three fields here for setting up uh, your macro buttons in voice meter. So what I had done is I set strip zero. So strip zero is actually the first strip or mic one in my setup. Uh, so I special setup or whenever I start voice meter I run it through turning everything off turning everything on and then turning it to the state that I want to and that sure is that regardless of what the voice meter settings are when I close it down it'll always default to a certain state when I load it up again uh, as you can see on the second line here I have system MIDI or system dot send MIDI out one data ninety one zero. Now it did take me a while to figure out what all these numbers are supposed to do and, and program it to the MIDI mix, but I have them all sorted out now. So this basically tells the MIDI mix to turn the mute button um, off. The zero indicates off. This is the note or the data that is being sent to it. I then also send Alt F14 to make sure that the button is sync. The macro button is synchronized with the with the soft with the MIDI mix, and then I unmute. Then I mute it, and to mute it, you would send 7F. Now I think you can actually send any number above uh, 100 or even lower. I don't know the exact number, but at a certain point, you can send any number, and it'll turn the LED on or off. Okay. And then as you can see, I did the same thing for the trigger in, which is when I press the button, and trigger out is when I press the button again. Um, part of how I got this working was using the Learn from MIDI mapping device. So as you can see, it's for this particular button, which is over here on channel 1, it's note 1, C sharp, minus 2, 1. Okay, so um, that's one way you could get it to learn. That's part of how I got it working anyways. Um, so you'll see everything's working here. Okay, so I'm muting that. Uh, right now it's monitoring. I'll turn that off again. All right, so we'll close this. Cancel that. And what I'll do now is I'll just go over to OBS to show you and prove to you that this is working. Okay, so this is my second instance of OBS. Um, and I'm just going to, on my Novation Launchpad MIDI, I'm just going to hold down this button right here. And this is actually going to show you um, that the meters are working in voice meter and also in OBS. So that's just basically the uh, Windows uh, default music I had set up just for the purposes of this demonstration as well. Okay, so uh, I think that about does it for this tutorial. Uh, as you can see, everything is working as expected. I'll just do one more little thing here. Uh, but yeah, if I get enough likes on this video, I will do a full tutorial on how to get this all working together, um, and hopefully. This helps you out in your, I don't know if you're live streaming or if you have um, a setup for a business or something like that. Maybe you got uh, streaming radio to a bunch of speakers or something. All right, so you have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.